Studio 5 style and beauty contributor Megan Moore says the Pantone shade of purple can be flattering on any woman when worn the right way. First of all, this color is your jam. This is totally my jam. This is Megan's color. In fact, when I heard the announcement, I read it online, my first thought was Megan's going to love this. Yes, I've been wearing purple makeup forever. It's like, and I'm so like grateful because like last year green, Hello. that's a really hard color to pull off on yeah. makeup, but purple is super flattering across the board. So I'm really excited. I have to ask though, were you surprised? Because what surprised me was how purple it was. This right. is a strong color. It's almost neon purple. Yeah. Like it's really intense. So I, I'm going to say that there's those are there are options out there if you want to go that bold, but you can certainly rein it in a little bit and wear something that's a little bit softer but still really close to that ultraviolet color. I was telling Megan before the show I really struggle with purple. It was my high school colors, like my school colors. Yeah. I was kind of involved in athletics, I say that loosely. So I wore a lot of purple. Yeah. I haven't really been able to wear it since. Well, maybe not on your clothes, but okay. let's try it on your makeup. You're going to convince me what's yeah. first. What are you looking at? Okay, so the big thing, I think the easiest way to change this, to try this um, trend is to switch out your eyeliner. And you said prior to this year, eyeliner was really all the options you had when it came to purple makeup. Right, and only a very select few brands were even producing purple eyeliner. So I had a hard time finding it, um, but now it's really everywhere. And the great thing about just Doing the eyeliner is that from a distance it still looks black right you can't really tell it's purple till you're up close and the light hits it and then you're kind of like oh that's a fun surprise so from a distance you're still gonna get like that natural the dark you know around your lashes that you want the definition but then up close you have that fun kind of pop so here are some celebrities that have been rocking this look that I've been loving I'm so excited to see it but you it's just it's super fun I like it when done subtly I don't know if I could do that kind of go with the shadow that kind of creeps off the eyelid but talk, point us to some of the products that you are loving okay so for Eyeliner, there's a lot of options. This L'Oreal one is a great one. That's okay. what I have on actually today. And I I've say, got, your eyes look amazing. Yeah, isn't that fun? But from a distance, you may not even know that it's purple. So a great one there. If you really want to go bold, you can go into this one, which is a liquid. That's by NYX. And those are called their Vivid Brights. And they, and they really, really are. <laughs> yeah. So if you want to go for it, you totally can. Okay. If you want to go into something that's just more shadow and not necessarily your liner, this is a beautiful um, little palette right there by LA Girl, which you can get at CVS. So it's super affordable. And all of these products are. I wouldn't spend a ton because it is a trend. Mm -hmm. This one is a great one that's like the double-sided Revlon. It's got a cream shadow and a glitter. Mm -hmm. And if you're really feeling like you want to go for something fun, try a purple mascara. Now, I would always suggest you wear black underneath of it first so you can get that depth that you want oh, okay. and then add the purple over the top. And again, from a distance, you're not going to see it at all. But then up close, you're going to see that purple and be like, oh, that's really fun. That's a good tip. Black though first yes. as your base. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm looking at your lips. When you're wearing purple on your eyes, what are you doing with the rest of your face? I I would keep the rest of the face and your outfit neutral, okay. right? So I, I went with a neutral lip. I have like a gray shirt on. If I showed up with purple and purple, <laughs> it would be a little intense, right? Yeah. So like keep everything else subtle and just pick one area to focus on. To make it pop. All right, yep. what's the next area of the face we're looking at? So lips. Now this one again is a little bit more bold and I would suggest for this trend that you probably keep it towards a nighttime look. So okay. going out during the day, it just may be a little bit over the top and you might get some interesting looks if you're walking down the aisles of Target with purple lipstick, mm -hmm. right? So, and you can also like gear it towards a little bit more of a maroon purple, something that's got a little bit more red in it if you don't want to go full on ultraviolet. I actually own a, a MAC lipstick. I think it's Girl About Town is the name of the color, but every time I wear it here on the show, I get emails asking what's that shade. Mm -hmm. I, think, I think people are surprised that purple can be so pretty. Exactly, and that's why I said it's flattering on all skin tones. Yeah. So I think if you haven't tried it, it's probably just the fear of doing it, but once you do it, you're like, oh, actually this is really nice. You've got some affordable so, options. Yeah, these it. are all affordable again, so if you really want to go to the ultra, ultra violet, you can. There's options out there. This one is by NYX. Can I try it? Yeah, swatch it. It's it's super bright and pretty. Wowzer. Yeah, so again, maybe not something everybody would want, but you could also instead lean towards something like this that's a okay. little bit more maroon, um, a little bit easier to wear that that way um, and I would also suggest that's pretty isn't that pretty and yeah. I would probably suggest a matte finish as well because okay. sometimes the shiny plus purple is a little much it's, yeah you know so aren't those really pretty I'm laughing at myself I don't think I've ever really said woes are in my life until this conversation <laughs> I think I've said it's it five new, times it's purple. our new it's wow. our new word okay did we talk about this one what's this oh and this one's just one of those 24 hours by Maybelline it oh. has the color on one side and then you let it dry and then you add the top coat over here so if you want it to last that's a really great option how there. do those compare to some of the more popular direct sales companies that are popping really up in our feed. really similar okay. and in my opinion better oh really yes okay and nails. This is one area I think most women could say, yeah, I could do a little purple on my toes or exactly. my fingers. Exactly. If all of this says no way to you, then I would say jump in with nail polish. And the great thing about the nail polish is that you don't even have to do it on your whole hand. Like, I love to do just a little accent nail. <gasps> Look at you. Yes. So, okay. Yeah. 
so if you don't want to put it on your entire hand or all of your feet, you could certainly just put it on your ring finger. That's a great way to do it. And there's so many purple options out there. But yeah, just a little bit That's of purple of on there. Like I kept everything else neutral. But yeah, just something kind of unexpected again. Help us get the shade right though. What do you like? So you can go a little bit more pink like these options up here or you can go to the true true like ultravioets if you want. There's so many purple nail polishes. Like you could I could have brought 20 options. So anything that jumps out at your eye and these are all gel I finishes like too. This one. That's a pretty one. That's a color stay and again they're like the at home gel so they'll last you a long time. All right. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Congratulations on the color of the year. I feel <laughs> like you I don't know if you had anything to do with it but it. <laughs> if Megan had any any influence it would definitely be toward this color. What's coming up on your beauty snoop oh man so much fun stuff for 2018 i'm back on youtube i'm doing a lot more review Yay! videos I did took, you hear everyone just break out i took some time off with the baby but now i'm back and i'm really excited and everybody's been encouraging me to do that so check me out on youtube we're happy we will thank you so much